A Ukrainian government official told The Washington Post on Wednesday that an attack on a Russian airbase in occupied Crimea was the work of Ukrainian special forces. The official, who spoke on the condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to speak publicly on the matter, did not disclose details of how the Tuesday attack was carried out. However, the attack marks a dramatic escalation in the nearly six-month-old war, demonstrating an ability by Ukrainian forces to strike farther behind Russian lines than previously believed. At least three explosions rocked the Safi air base, located in a coastal area presumed by the Russians to be so safe that videos showed startled beachgoers at a nearby tourist resort scrambling to run for cover. The Crimean Peninsula was annexed by Moscow in 2014 and is a popular vacation destination for Russians. The Ukrainian Air Force said in a statement that nine Russian military planes were destroyed at the base, which the authorities have said was used by Russia to launch missile strikes against Ukrainian-controlled territory. Officially, Kyiv has refused to confirm or deny that Ukrainians were involved in the attack. But on Tuesday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky focused his nightly address on Crimea, vowing to win back the territory. Crimea is Ukrainian, and we will never give it up, he said, without mentioning the airbase or the attack. Ukraine's special operations forces are known to be engaged in an active campaign to infiltrate Russian-held territory and coordinate with sympathetic locals on the ground to carry out attacks. Guerrilla activity has been especially prevalent in the occupied southern Kherson region, just north of Crimea, including assassinations of Russian-installed officials. Russia has said Tuesday's blast was caused by an ammunition explosion, and officials reported that at least one person was killed and 13 were injured, including two children. A U.S. official, speaking on the condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the issue, told The Post on Tuesday only that a U.S. weapon was not used in the attack. The American High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, HIMARS, recently given to Ukraine, have enabled Ukraine to strike deep behind Russian lines, but the systems known to have been supplied to Ukraine have a maximum range of 50 miles. The Crimean air base is at least 140 miles from the nearest front line. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.